hello everyone welcome back to mass explorer in this video i'm going to solve and find the value of this beautiful math problem which is 50 raised to power 50 divided by 25 raised to power 25 so here i will try to solve this problem using two different methods so in the first method i will try to make their power same so for that we will factorize this power 50 and we will try to make this power as a 25 so therefore we can write this number next is 50 raised to power this 50 can be written as 25 times 2 which is 50 divided by 25 raised to power 25 here in this one number in the numerator we will use an exponential identity so here we will use this one exponential identity a raised to power m times n which can also be written as a raised to power m whole raised to power n now using this identity here we can write this numerator as this will become 50 raised to power 25 whole raised to power 2 divided by 25 raised to power 25 now here there is square over this number so we can write this number two times as 50 raised to power 25 times 50 raised to power 25 divided by 25 raised to power 25 now here these two numbers have the same power so we will separate this number from the division of these two numbers so this will become is equal to it will become 50 raised to power 25 divided by 25 raised to power 25 times 50 raised to power 25 now looking to this number here in the numerator and denominator both have the same power so here we will use the same power division exponential identity so we will use this one identity here when we have a raised to power n divided by b raised to power n so we can write this as a by b whole raised to power n now using this identity here we can write this number as this will become 50 divided by 25 whole raised to power 25 times 50 raised to power 25 then we will simplify these two numbers 25 times 1 is 25 25 times 2 is 50 so this will become 2 by 1 which is equal to 2 so this number will become 2 raised to power 25 times 50 raised to power 25 now again look into both the numbers both the number has the same power so here we will use the same power exponential identity so we will use this one identity here a raised to power m times a raised to b raised to power m which can also be written as taking the power common and multiply the basis a times b whole raised to power m so using this identity here this number will become here we multiply the basis so this will become 2 times 50 and we will write the power one time 25 so 2 times 50 is 100 so this will become 100 raised to power 25 next we can write this 100 in exponential form as 10 square all raised to power 25 now using the above exponential property this one we will multiply the powers with each other so this will become 10 raised to power 2 times 25 what is 2 times 25 2 times 25 is 50 so this will become 10 raised to power 50 so finally 10 raised to power 50 is our answer and value of the above math problem now what does it mean by this number here there is 1 and there is 0 and there is 50 in the power so we can also write this number as this is a very bigger number which having 1 followed by 50 zeros so this is a very bigger number there is 1 and there are 50 zeros which we cannot write here 
so this is our answer now here we will try to solve this problem using the second method so we will solve using the second method it here now in the second method we will try to make the basis same so for that we will factorize this base 50 so we can write this base 50 as again 25 times 2 so this will become 25 times 2 whole raised to power 50 divided by the denominator will be the same 25 raised to power 25 so again here we will use an exponential identity so here we will use this one identity in the numerator a times b whole raised to power n which can be written as a raised to power n times b raised to power n now using this identity here this numerator will become this will become 25 raised to power 50 times 2 raised to power 50 divided by 25 raised to power 25 now look at to these two numbers these two numbers have the same basis so here we will remove this number from their product and we will divide these two numbers so therefore we can write these two numbers further as 25 raised to power 50 divided by 25 raised to power 25 times 2 raised to power 50 now here this number has the same basis so here we will use the same base division exponential identity so here we will use this one identity in this one number when we have r s to power m divided by r s to power n so we can write this as we will write the base one time and we will subtract the power so this will become r s to power m minus n now using this result here this number will become is equal to this will become 25 raised to the power we will subtract the power so this will become 50 minus 25 times 2 raised to power 50 but here we can write this 50 as 2 times 25 which is 50 so further this will become 25 raised to the power 50 minus 25 is 25 times and here in this one number we will use this one identity r s to power m times n which is equal to r s to power m or s to power n so here we will out this power 25 so this will become 2 raised to power 2 or s to power 25 so further this will become 25 raised to power 25 times 2 raised to power 2 is 4 so this will become 4 raised to power 25 now again both the number has the same power so here we will use the same power exponential identity and we multiply the basis so this will become 25 times 4 whole raised to power 25 now again 25 times 4 is 100 so this will become 100 raised to power 25 now let us change this 100 to its exponential form so we can write this 100 as 10 square whole raised to power 25 now using an exponential identity you will multiply the powers so this will become 10 raised to power 2 times 25 which is 50 so again 10 raised to power 50 is our answer